Yo, what up, family? Big Church, Kenny Bogus. Taste this. Welcome to another exciting adventure at Kenny's Kitchen. With your boy, Young Kitchen, it would be me, this cat. And uh, first off, if you're new to the kitchen, welcome to Kenny's Kitchen. It's all about flavor in this neck of the woods. Like, share, subscribe. Also, ring the bell for the notifications. That being said, what I want to bring to y'all this week, super simple. Ain't did this in a long time. It's a, a two-in-one. And uh, what it is, with no further ado, the glizzy edition, baby. The chili cheese. Not the chili cheese fries, not the chili cheese chips, but the chili cheese dogs, baby. The glizzy edition. You about to see it because we about to do it right here, right now, Katie's Kitchen. Let's go. Church, come on. Okay, family, so getting started, what we have here with no further ado, just a few simple ingredients. We got about two and a half pounds of uh, ground beef. You get about two pounds, should do it for what we're doing today. Uh, we got some about a half of a diced onion, a couple garlic cloves. Over here, we got some tomato paste, some tomato sauce, and some tomato soup. And with no further ado, meet me uh, at, the, uh, at the pot, at the chili pot. We're going to get this chili going. All right, let's go. All right, we got a chili pot going over medium high heat. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of uh, just some olive oil to it, just for the uh, for the onions. We're gonna let that come to temp. Okay, to get y'all a little closer look. Now let's drop these onions. We got the oil where it needs to be. All right, so we're gonna saute these onions a couple minutes. Okay, I'm gonna take about a minute or so to get those uh, onions translucent, and we're gonna drop about two pounds of the beef in there. Like that there. And we're gonna take a little spatula and move it around for a couple minutes, let it brown. Also, you can go ahead and mince those, uh, that garlic up and drop them in there. All right, that's how we're looking after about two minutes. I'm gonna keep on just kind of moving it around a little bit. Just until it gets golden brown. Well, not golden brown, but you know, nice little ground beef brown. Then we're gonna drain it. As you can see, it's uh, getting a little, the liquid's building up and it's beefy. It got a lot of liquid in there. So once we get it brown, after a couple more minutes, we're gonna drain it. We're gonna drain the, uh, the oil off of it. Okay, that's how we're looking after we drain the, uh, all of that grease off of the, uh, the ground beef. Now we're gonna add this uh, can of, and it's basically a uh, eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Just gonna take some of the noise out of it. Then we're gonna add to that three tablespoons of tomato paste, approximately. One, two. Make a little noise with that one. And three. I'm gonna take my spatula. Move that around a little bit. Like so. And if you notice, you haven't seen any beans. We're not uh, doing no beans with this chili. You know, my son's gonna be happy. He don't like no beans in his chili. People in Texas might be bugging a little bit. But being that we're doing chili dogs, we're not gonna uh, add no beans. So next thing I wanna add is my secret ingredient on the wet part. And that's this uh, 15 ounce can of tomato soup. Y'all seen the chili I did before. Y'all know that's one of the little secrets. Give it that little, give, give it that little sheen. All right, family, now we want to bring the uh, temperature down to a medium low, and I'm gonna add some uh, dry spices in here. I already added a little bit of salt and pepper, about a, uh, about a teaspoon of each. Now we're gonna add uh, some chili powder, about a tablespoon of chili powder to the mix. And another one of my little cheat codes I want to add is just about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Trust me on that one. Okay, now from up top, we're gonna add some W sauce, about, about two tablespoons of dub sauce, the Worcestershire, like so. We're gonna add a little wetness to it, add a little about, I'm gonna add a little chicken uh, broth, about, maybe that's about a, about a fourth of a cup, and we're gonna give it a stir. All right, people, I gave it a little stir, and what we wanna do with chili, because it tastes better even tomorrow. The longer, the better. We're gonna let it sit on simmer and uh, we're gonna get these dogs going, all right? Let's go. 
Okay, family, we got the grill going. It's glizzy time, baby. And uh, when you're doing your chili dogs, uh, you basically want to get a high-quality uh, frank. And so what I'm using for these is just some beef franks. I used to try to get some beef joints and some nice, they huge jumbo size. And I like to cut some slits in them. That helps them cook evenly. And also, they want to uh, be bending all up and all kind of stuff. So I think we got this up to a temp, which is a medium high heat. And we're going to start to drop these puppies. And when I say puppies, I mean the glizzies, the dogs. I'm going to drop them like a so. A couple of them up here. All right, we're going to let them go, baby. All right, family, that's how we're looking on the flip side. And uh, if you don't have a grill uh, plate for the inside of the house, or you're not cooking them outside on the grill, you can, uh, by all means, put a little bit of oil in the pan and get them going. I would still say cut the slits in them. I'm going to let them go for a few more minutes. All right, this is what we looking like, y'all. You see them slits? How they kick in? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, ski. All right, so we about to uh, build these dogs real quick before we get to the plating. All right, I know y'all know how to do this part, but let me show you anyway. We got the dogs in a nice little brioche bun. And I'm going to scoop a little bit out here. Let's see. Oh yes, don't be stingy either, y'all. Yeah. Almost like a sloppy, sloppy glaze almost, right? If you want, you can add a few more uh, onion from up top to the mix if you like, and I like. Yeah, a little fresh joints. And then, if you really want to get funky with it, Get you some shredded cheddar. I got me some Kobe Jack or some cheddar or whatever you want to get. I got a little, I shredded it up fresh. And I got, the, I'm going to put this right on top. I got the broiler going on the oven. I'm going to throw this right on top like a so. I might just show you how one look without the cheese or something like that. But I'm going to put them in there for a couple minutes. We're going to bring it out and show you the finito at the plating. All right, let's go. And there you have it, people. There you have it. The moment of truth. The glizzies. <laughs> Chili cheese dogs, done right as we always do. I think y'all know what time of day it is. Let's zoom on in, give you a closer look at this situation. Got the cheese and the regular. I think both of them will be super delectable. And as we zoom out, people, as we zoom out, gotta say gratitude. We appreciate y'all for tapping in with us like you do every week. Keep on doing what you're doing. We appreciate you. Couldn't do it without y'all. Be sure to tap in with us at tastes.com. We got the recipes, we got the merch, we got it all, baby. And we're going to catch y'all next week with another banger. Y'all be good. We out. Church. There you have it, people. There you have it. The Chili Cheese Dog, the Glizzy Edition. Done righteously as we always do right here on Kenny's Kitchen. This is the part of the show that I got to step back. Salute y'all because we appreciate y'all for tapping in. Keep on doing what you're doing. Tell your peoples as well as your people's peoples about Big Church and then what we're doing over here. And uh, again, tap in with us at uh, tastes.com. Uh, also, you know, you're already here in the place to be. We'll be doing them every week. Man, couldn't do it without y'all. We appreciate it. Take a village, you know what I'm saying? And we appreciate the village, you know what I'm saying, to keep us going. So I'll uh, tell your people, send your people's peoples, if I didn't mention it two or three times, baby. And uh, also, if you could do me a favor, share this thing on your social media platforms, whether it be Facebook, IG, Threads, Twitter, X, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate the love. Couldn't do it without y'all. We're going to get up out of here, though. We'll catch y'all next week with another banger, as we always do. And, uh, man, take care of each other. Hope we took care of y'all. God bless, but first, but first, you already know what time of day it is. About to reach here, show you this thing, hit this glizzy. So I spin it around, should I rock you world and spin it around? Uh, I don't know what side it look better on, but that's it. That's it, baby, that's it. And what we gonna do is taste this. Let me see, we gotta do the cheese one. See if I can, see if it open or break apart. Let's see, let's give it a taste. Mm-mm.